What is the function of the pericardium? A. Pumps blood throughout the body. B. Supplies the heart muscle with blood. C. Prevents friction between the heart and surrounding structures. D. Initiates electrical impulses. And the correct answer is C. Prevents friction between the heart and surrounding structures. The pericardium serves several important functions. It protects the heart by acting as a barrier against infections and other potential threats. It also reduces friction between the heart and surrounding tissues by producing lubricating fluid. Additionally, it helps anchor the heart in the chest and limits its movement, ensuring it stays in the correct position. Which pediatric condition involves the narrowing of the iota? A. Coarctation of the iota B. Transposition of the great arteries C. Hypoplastic left heart syndrome D. Tricuspid atresia And the correct answer is A. Coarctation of the iota Coarctation of the iota is a congenital defect where a child's iota is narrowed, leading to poor blood flow. This can cause symptoms like difficulty breathing, poor feeding and high blood pressure in the upper body. Treatment usually involves surgery or procedures to widen the narrowed area to ensure proper blood flow and prevent complications. Which genetic condition can lead to higher levels of cholesterol and early heart disease? A. Hypertension B. Familial hypercholesterolemia C. Marfan syndrome D. Hemophilia And the correct answer is B. Familial hypercholesterolemia Familial hypercholesterolemia is a genetic condition causing very high levels of LDL cholesterol, that is bad cholesterol. This increases the risk of heart disease at a young age. It is often inherited from parents who also have high cholesterol. Treatment includes lifestyle changes and medications to lower cholesterol levels. Which inflammatory marker is often measured to assess heart disease risk? A. C-reactive protein B. Albumin C. Ferritin D. Bilirubin And the correct answer is A. C-reactive protein CRP C-reactive protein CRP is often measured to assess heart disease risk because it is a marker of inflammation in the body. Elevated levels of CRP can indicate inflammation in the arteries which is a risk factor for atherosclerosis, that is plaque buildup in the arteries. High CRP levels have been associated with an increased risk of heart attacks and other cardiovascular events. Measuring CRP levels helps doctors evaluate a patient's risk of heart disease and guide prevention and treatment strategies. Which device is implanted to help the heart pump blood in patients with severe heart failure? A. Pacemaker B. Defibrillator C. Ventricular Assist Device VAD D. Stent And the correct answer is C. Ventricular Assist Device VAD A ventricular assist device is implanted to help the heart pump blood in patients with severe heart failure. It takes over the pumping function of the weakened heart, improving blood flow to the body.
This helps alleviate symptoms of heart failure such as fatigue and shortness of breath. VADs can be used as a temporary measure while awaiting a heart transplant or as a long-term solution for those not eligible for transplant. Which congenital heart defect involves a hole in the wall separating the two lower chambers of the heart? A. Atrial septal defect B. Ventricular septal defect C. Patent ductus arteriosus D. Tetralogy of fallow And the correct answer is B. Ventricular septal defect VSD The congenital heart defect involving a hole in the wall separating the two lower chambers of the heart is called a ventricular septal defect VSD. This defect allows oxygenated blood to mix with deoxygenated blood between the left and right ventricles. This can lead to increased blood flow to the lungs causing respiratory issues and heart enlargement. Depending on the size and location of the hole, treatment may range from monitoring to surgical repair. Which surgical procedure is performed to create a new route around a blocked coronary artery? A. Angioplasty B. Coronary artery bypass graft CABG C. Valve replacement D. Pacemaker insertion And the correct answer is B. Coronary artery bypass graft CABG A new route is created around a blocked coronary artery in a coronary artery bypass graft to restore proper blood flow to the heart muscle. The blockage obstructs blood flow, depriving the heart of necessary oxygen and nutrients. By bypassing the blocked artery with a healthy blood vessel, usually taken from the leg, arm or chest, the heart receives adequate blood supply. This procedure helps reduce symptoms like chest pain and lowers the risk of heart attacks. The right atrium receives deoxygenated blood from which of the following blood vessels? A. Pulmonary veins B. Iota C. Superior and inferior vena cava D. Coronary arteries And the correct answer is C. Superior and inferior vena cava The right atrium receives deoxygenated blood from the superior vena cava and the inferior vena cava. The superior vena cava brings blood from the upper parts of the body, like the head and arms. The inferior vena cava brings blood from the lower parts of the body, such as the legs and abdomen. Where does the exchange of gases and nutrients between blood and tissues occur? A. Arteries B. Veins C. Capillaries D. Atria And the correct answer is C. Capillaries The exchange of gases and nutrients between blood and tissues occur in the capillaries. Capillaries are tiny blood vessels that connect arteries and veins and have very thin walls. These thin walls allow oxygen and nutrients to pass from the blood into the tissues and waste products to pass from the tissues into the blood. Which type of exercise is particularly beneficial for cardiovascular health? A. Weightlifting 
ಬಿ ಎರೋಬಿಕ್ ಎಕ್ಸಸೈಸ್ ಸಿ ಯೋಗ ಡಿ ಪಲಾಟೇಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದ ಕರೆಕ್ಟ್ ಆನ್ಸರ್ ಈಸ್ ಬಿ ಎರೋಬಿಕ್ ಎಕ್ಸಸೈಸ್ ಎರೋಬಿಕ್ ಎಕ್ಸಸೈಸ್ ಈಸ್ ಬೆನಿಫಿಷಿಯಲ್ ಫಾರ್ ಕಾರ್ಡಿಯೋ ವ್ಯಾಸ್ಕುಲರ್ ಹೆಲ್ತ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಸ್ಟ್ರೆಂಗ್ತೆನ್ಸ್ ದ ಹಾರ್ಟ್ ಮೇಕಿಂಗ್ ಇಟ್ ಪಂಪ್ ಬ್ಲಡ್ ಮೋರ್ ಎಫಿಷಿಯಂಟ್ಲಿ ಇಟ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಹೆಲ್ಪ್ಸ್ ಲೋವರ್ ಬ್ಲಡ್ ಪ್ರೆಷರ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಇಂಪ್ರೂವ್ಸ್ ಬ್ಲಡ್ ಫ್ಲೋ ರೆಡ್ಯೂಸಿಂಗ್ ದ ರಿಸ್ಕ್ ಆಫ್ ಹಾರ್ಟ್ ಡಿಸೀಸ್ ಎಡಿಷನಲ್ಲಿ ಎರೋಬಿಕ್ ಎಕ್ಸಸೈಸ್ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಹೆಲ್ಪ್ ಮೇಂಟೈನ್ ಎ ಹೆಲ್ದಿ ವೆಯ್ಟ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಲೋವರ್ ಕೊಲೆಸ್ಟ್ರಾಲ್ ಲೆವೆಲ್ಸ್ ಫರ್ದರ್ ಪ್ರೊಟೆಕ್ಟಿಂಗ್ ದ ಹಾರ್ಟ್ Which of the following medications is used to dissolve blood clots during a heart attack? A. Aspirin B. Statins C. Thrombolytics D. Beta blockers And the correct answer is C. Thrombolytics Thrombolytic medications are used during a heart attack to dissolve blood clots that are blocking the coronary arteries. by clearing these clots these medications restore blood flow to the heart muscle which is crucial to prevent further damage and improve outcomes this approach is aimed at quickly reopening the blocked arteries to minimize the impact of heart attack and enhance recovery which advanced imaging technique can measure coronary artery calcium levels to assess heart disease risk a echocardiogram b cardiac mri c coronary calcium scan d angiogram and the correct answer is c coronary calcium scan a coronary calcium scan looks for calcium deposits in the arteries of your heart these calcium deposits can show if you have plaque build up which can lead to heart disease by measuring how much calcium you have doctors can tell if you are at risk of heart problems and figure out the best way to keep you healthy which hormone often associated with stress can increase heart disease risk when chronically elevated a insulin b cortisol c estrogen d testosterone and the correct answer is drop your answers in the comment section below For downloading PDF content and for latest updates follow our Telegram channel I have given the link in the description below If you like this video don't forget to hit that like button Thanks for watching